As per request, we're changing um, the bearings. We are hopping on this trailer which is um, buggered, so I was told it would be 60 to 70 bucks plus GST per set of bearings. I went to Super Cheap Auto and got the very bearings I need for 30 bucks each. I figured, well, I might as well change them all myself, so let's do it. For this task, you will need a hammer, like every other task. Hammer. A big crescent. Crescent. A pair of pliers. Pliers. And a punch, which I will show you shortly. And a vice. Nice. Yes, love. All right. Sorry, head to. which will soon be very dirty in grease. That the old split pin like so. I've seen these large actually that was yeah. Put the light on. And do this nut like so. One washer, which does not come in the kit, so don't lose this washer. And slide that off like that. Here goes the old buggered bearings. Right here, it was making all the noise. So you can feel the steel in it. So now I'm going to go and clean all that rubbish up and remove the inner bearings. And I'll show you that once I've given it a good clean. And I'll show you how to knock them out. Here we are, and now we'll go get these inner pieces out. As you see, if you look down the back there, you'll see some little lines in the, um, there's little chunks out of, the, um, out of the sleeve there. That's where you put your punch, to nicely punch that out. So I'll quickly punch these out now, and get underway. That's my little punch I use. I think I stole that off my first tradesman. <laughs> Apprentices. No. I need to use it. So I'm tapping each side, a couple of taps each. It's just working its way up nicely. Boom. There we go. One. Clean it off. Do the same one and check this by the way. Don't just throw it. You'll need to it. Second one done. Just cleaned out the grease from the middle. Yep, now we get this. On here we put that there like that. And some people use a rubber mallet and a special tool. Do not look at the bench in the background. Yep. I'm just gonna add. This is because I have kids. Uh, yep. There's only so much we can blame kids on love. Anyway. Hey, my mother blames me for everything, so you know. <laughs> Let's try and hit that down evenly. Now the next thing is to get this old one, and I'm going to use that to push that down. But what you want to do, because mm. there's a good chance it's going to get stuck, you see it's fatter on one end than the other, put the lip end that way down so when it gets stuck you can still knock it back out, because if you turn it that way, there's, and you put the punch on it, it's just going to slip out and trust me, it's not worth the hassle. Smack that in until it's not quite firm up against the lip. Oh yeah, by the way, those are the little slots I was using to hit the um, thing uh, with. Ah, right, yes. Couldn't see them that well last time. No, no, yeah, we can't. I 
So you have to get it out a little bit more, so I'm going to get another old one. Do the same. Next comes the part that Asna would love if he was allowed to do it. If he was allowed to stay up this late. And if he was allowed to stay <laughs> up this late. Kids are all in bed. These bearings have to be packed with grease. I'll show you how to do this. Old Alan, watch carefully. I've seen how you pack grease. And it's, he just makes a mess of it. Is there such a thing as neat grease? Well, no, but trust me, <laughs> Alan, don't get me wrong, I love the guy. Very fatherly figure, but my God, when he gets squeezing bearings, he gets it in his hair, he gets, oh, greasy. But like me is, with ice cream. Is that, it's like you with ice cream, right. So what I do is, take a bowl of grease in this hand, big blob, blob. bearing, and what I do is, I just get a little bit, and I wipe it on my hand like that, and what you'll start seeing is the grease poking through the top. See it popping up through the hole there. Yep. Might might be better on the on the smaller one though. I'll show you. I can see it. I don't know how it's showing up on the thing. Not sure what I'm meant to be looking for. Oh, I'll show you on, show you on the little yeah. one. Hopefully. So, see how it's coming up through the centre of the rings. Yeah. We'll be upside down anyway. Yep. So what I'm doing is. See how it's pushing through the um So you wanna push these all round things in there. We wanna fill that with grease. So what we do is take a bite, squish it, take a bite, squish it, take a bite. Oh I see. Squish it, take a bite, squish it. How are we coming up saying? You see it starting to appear there? See it? With my eyes I can. Hopefully the camera's capturing it. <laughs> and then just take your finger up and move it around. Squish it. If you can see it there. And squish. Squish. Oh there you can see it quite clearly there. Mm -hmm. And then that is a flea packed greased bearing. Where'd you go on? Mm -hmm. Right. Then what we do is we get this here. Put that down like that. Get this here. This should squish right in. Where did that fluff come from? Like magic just turned up. Back to my magic piece of wood. It's magic, is it? You could make things fit. Cool. Quite magic. A bit like my magic pencil. Now the gasket's in. cavity there, you need to half fill that with grease as well. So, time to get the fingers dirty again. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Aston would love this job. <laughs> He'd want to lick it. 
Maybe because I have accidentally tasted it, I, it just doesn't appeal. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to even want to ask. <laughs> well, it gets everywhere. <laughs> Now remember that nut I said never to lose? Don't do with it. <laughs> this is where our children get it from. Right, now we get this nut in the washer that you do not lose. Did we you just lose it, love? Yes, we've just been searching for it for the last hour and a half. Who found it? Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to know. I am so great. I personally think you planted it. <laughs> Just till it locks up so you can't turn it and then back it off. So it spins reasonably freely. Stick the split pin in. Do you remember where the split pin went in? 